Bonjour à tous, privet. So welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, we're trying to use materialize in Flux, right? So what is materialize? So materialize dot or materialize dot CSS is a very nice front end framework, just like Bootstrap. That makes you that is based on material design, Google's material design. So it makes you feel like it's like a material, right? It's trying to add depth and then shadow to it, something like this. So this is the official website. See that how the website looks like. So that is it. So how do we add this thing to Flux? So fortunately, there is a powerful package that allows you to be able to add material design or materialize to Flux in a very simple way. So first of all, let's install it. So I'm going to go to my so to install it, just go with pip install Flux material. Right, that's the name of the package. So it's going to install this package for us to use. So let me let's start even as I've already installed it, but that is how to install it. Now let's see how it works. So I'll create a folder. So inside the folder is called flux. It's called flux material, right? Materialize. That inside this folder there's nothing here. So I'll be creating a I'll be creating a folder and a file. So the file is going to be called as app.py. The file is going to be called app.py. We're going to put all our logic and I'm going to create another file inside a folder, right? So I'll create a folder called template. Then inside this folder, I'll create a simple index file. So index.html. Perfect. So we are done with it now. So just going to go to the normal syntax. So from blocks import. Flux, then we need to import render template. Perfect. Then we need to initialize our app. So app flux. Then create our if main. So app.run debug is called to true. Okay, perfect. So we have already done this. This is the basic idea about the flux app. Now let's create a simple app, simple route. So it's going to be the greatest so app dot route. Then create a function in this ten hello world. This is flux material, right? So flux material is just like flux, the same as flux with material, materialized CSS. Perfect. Now let me start our server. So it has already finished installing, right? So cd desktop. Yeah. Then flux. Okay. So inside our file, yeah, inside our folder, we have app.py, which I'm going to run. So Python app.py. So let me bring it here. We'll bring an empty file. Perfect. So, right, copy it and paste it here. So you see what you are doing. But that is working. It's very easy. What I sometimes you try. So it's that is working here. Now, how do we bring materialize inside Flux? So the simplest way is just go it from Flux material, the one we installed here, right? We installed Flux material previously. So the one we install. So from flux material import material then i go to pass go to pass material around our app as a function so material perfect now with this command and then this one it is easier for us to use flux material or materialize inside our flux app so let me save it and then let's change from here so render template index.html. So inside our index.html file, we will have to extend the flask material with this command. So let's create a simple ginger. So extend, extend, and here's going to go with material slash base dot That's all we need. So this is all we need 
to be able to use material here. Then we're going to create a simple block content and then our end block. So that is all we need. So whatever you want to do can be done here. Sometimes you may, it, is, it is not necessary, but sometimes if you want to include some of the JavaScript functionalities, you can just add our script tag here. So let's work without it and see how it's going to be. So let's create a simple stuff. I'm going to call it as now. Then I'm going to give the class of, let's call it mm, table, right? Something simple. And div class nav wrapper all these things are materialized component classes right then I give a simple each ref you say flux materialize material I can't even spell materialize <laughs> I uh, surprised I can't spell materialize <laughs> Okay, anyway, you understand it. So now if you save it and run our app again Perfect, so it has been able to bring our material design stuff here. So now flux Material has allowed us to use materialize in our flux app, right in a very simple way with just simple command of importing the flux material passing it around it and then bringing all our flux material stuff so I can go back to the normal stuff here and copy something and paste it and see. So let's copy a component. Let's go and copy a class. A card rather. So let me copy this card. So just quite simple. Everything works perfectly. So I'll paste it here. Now paste, save it. And then if I run it again. Perfect. See that it's working perfectly. You can check it, and then everything works in a nice, quite some very very fresh way. So that is how to use Flux material. That gives you the power to use materialize in Flux. So thank you for watching. If you have any question or contribution, you can put it inside the comment section. So sometimes too, you can also place in your script here, right? So to place in your script, it's going to go in the normal way of there then you're going to put our javascript so whatever javascript that you want to put we're going to put it inside this place right perfect so it's still going to work anyway but without it it's still work that is one nice thing about flux material life perfect so thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution you can just put it inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed